Hello everybody, this is teacher Agnes and teacher Winnie and we are making a presentation on creative writing. Now, um, we have plot and themes in creative writing. These give a series of inverts with a beginning, middle and a realistic end. Every story must have a beginning and an end. But first of all, you must answer the following WH questions as you write your stories. In every story, you must think about your characters, the who or whom. You must know your characters before you come up with your story. And then so we have the what, the action. What are you going to write about? Is it about love? Is it about suffering? Is it about revenge? Is it about death? How are you going to write about a fight? The action is important. And as you write, your action must have a climax. We have where, which is the physical setting. Every story must have a physical setting. And this is another important aspect. So where the action takes place, your story must have that so that your readers can be able to follow it up. And then we have the time setting, the when. When, do the, when does the action take place? Is it at night? Is it in the morning? The reader should be able to tell when the action took place. So you have to take note of that as you write your story. Then we have the how, the process, the process of the action. How do these events begin and end? This, is, this will give you chance to tell your story from the beginning to the end. Okay, we are continuing with themes in creative writing. Themes are the main ideas in the story. In other words, what makes the story worth reading? It could be things like love, pain, suffering, revenge, corruption, and anything else. Generally, these stories that we tell are a comment about life. So look around you and get something that is fascinating and then talk about it. Let it be the main idea that you're concentrating on. Let it be the main argument. And for us, we will call it the theme. The major thing that you want to write about, that you want to people to know about, is what we are going to call the theme, but it should be a comment about life. Then there is something else that we call setting. Setting is the place and time of action. For every story that you write, you should help us see where that action takes place. It's what we are calling the physical setting. Is this thing taking place in a hospital? Is it taking place in a forest? Is it taking place in a club? Is it taking place at a burial ceremony? You know, think of a place where your action is going to take place from. And that's what we will call the physical setting. But setting is a little bigger than that. We should also include the time of the action. When did it happen? The action that you're talking about, when did it happen? It might have happened in 2020. It might have happened yesterday. It might have happened on a Sunday. It might have happened in winter. It might have happened during the dry season. All that is time of the action. So add physical setting and time setting. The place where the action took place, but also the time at which that action took place. Capturing the scene of action is very vital. So allow your reader to hear the sounds, 
in the physical setting. If there are birds around, let's hear the sounds of the birds. If it's in club, let's hear the music. If it is uh, maybe at night, let's see the sights, how dark was it, and so on. Let's see the sights and the environment around the action that you're talking about. Now that we know something about creative writing, we want you to exercise with emphasis on the points that we've talked about, most especially theme, then setting, then help us see the characters and help us know what kind of essay you're writing. Is it narrative? Is it descriptive? Is it argumentative? Is it expository or discursive? So try out this exercise, write a story about an experience that made you vow never to trust anyone again. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you've learned something and we'll start from there next time and build on creative writing. But for a start, I think that has been good enough.